I affirm that you are wonderfully made precious in God's sight. You are known and chosen by God even before your birth. The Lord has set his love upon you and his plans for you are for good. You are a gift from God created with purpose. The Lord is your shepherd and he will guide your steps. Psalm 23 verse 1 You are a creation of God's handiwork designed for good works. Ephesians 2 verse 10 The Lord will surround you with his favor as with a shield. Psalm 5 verse 12 God has formed you in secret, skillfully wrought in the depths of the earth, Psalm 139, verse 15. The Lord has plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you hope and a future, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. You are a child of promise, blessed and highly favored, Galatians 4, verse 28. God's Spirit is already at work within you, shaping your destiny, Philippians 2:13. You will grow in wisdom, stature, and in favor with God and man. Luke 2, 52. The Lord is your strength and your song. He has become your salvation. Exodus 15, 2. You are filled with the Spirit of God who grants you wisdom and understanding, as it says in Isaiah 11, verse 2. The Lord will protect you and keep you all the days of your life, just like it is written in Psalm 121, verses 7 and 8. God's hand is upon you, guiding you in all your ways, as Psalm 32 verse 8 reminds us. You are blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 3. The Lord will establish you as his holy people as he promised you in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 9. You will be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 13. You're clothed with strength and dignity, and you will laugh without fear of the future. Proverbs 31, verse 25. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, God's marvelous creation. Psalm 139, verse 14. The Lord's plans for you are good to give you a future filled with hope. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. You are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. God's word will be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. You are a chosen generation called forth to declare the praises of God. The Lord will bless your coming in and going out now and forever. Psalm 121 verse 8. You are filled with all the fullness of God. Ephesians 3 verse 19. God's grace is sufficient for you. His power made perfect in your weakness. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. You will be strong and courageous, for the Lord your God is with you, as it says in Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. You'll grow in favor with both God and man, according to Luke chapter 2, verse 52. You are surrounded by God's angels who will protect you in all your ways, as written in Psalm 91, verse 11. You are created in the image of God, reflecting his glory, Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. The Lord has written your name in the palm of his hand, Isaiah chapter 49, verse 16. You will walk in God's wisdom and understanding all the days of your life, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. The Lord has declared his plans to prosper you, to give you hope and a future, Jeremiah 29, 11. You are hidden in Christ, secure in his love, Colossians 3, 3. God's peace will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 7. You will fulfill the good plans and purposes that God has prepared for you. The Lord will keep you in perfect peace as your mind is steadfast on him. You are a child of the light and will walk in the truth. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Isaiah 60, 19. You will grow like a cedar in Lebanon flourishing in the courts of our God, Psalm 92, 12 to 13. God's love for you is everlasting. He has drawn you with unfailing kindness, in Jeremiah 31, 3. The Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught, as it says in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 26. You will experience the joy of the Lord, which will be your strength, just like it says in Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind, as written in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for you. His love endures forever, Psalm 138, verse 8. 
You will be like a tree planted by streams of water yielding fruit in its season. Psalm 1 verse 3. The Lord will be your everlasting light and your days of sorrow will end. Isaiah 60 verse 20. You are precious in God's sight, honored and loved. Isaiah 43 verse 4.